Hi guys. So Steve Digwell, Green Figures, and myself, Blue, from Blue Self Reliance, um, we were having a chat the other day, or the other week actually, about getting a few of our mates together to show about and teach you about small space gardening. So we've got together myself and 10 other channels. I think there's 10 of us in all. I don't know. There's so many. But every month we're going to bring you a video at the end of the month, on the last day of every month, to show you what we're doing in our small space. Each month we'll have a theme and we will all be putting our take on that theme for the month. So here to introduce themselves are the other collaborators. There's a list of their channels down below. Please do go follow them all. And um, yeah, and we will see you very, very soon. Oh, good morning there. Um, this is my entry video for the growing collaboration. So uh, my name is Ashley and my YouTube channel is Ashley's Allotment Adventures. So I'll just pause the video now and turn the camera around so you can see what growing area I've got. So this is the main growing, well it's the growing area from here basically up to the mobility scooter up there. So that's the entire growing area there it's basically a half plot okay that's my entry video hi everybody i'm danny from wicked awesome gardening and i'm here in massachusetts in the united states i am gardening in zone 6b we're near the ocean which gives us a neat little microclimate um so for now i am gardening here in this suburban backyard and it's not very big. This is barely one tenth of an acre and it's not even my house. Um, this is actually my parents' house. I moved here to save money for a house. I'm going to be moving very soon. So giant gardening adventures to come. But in this little backyard, I managed to, uh, sucker my dad into letting me getting chickens <laughs> and taking over his garden. This is six feet by 16 feet. Uh, it's not the layout that I would have chosen for myself, and you'll see that uh, if you watch some of my other videos building out this new garden. But this year, I'm going to focus on how to grow in a small space. And yes, I recognize that six by 16 is still larger than some people get to garden in. But I'm going to grow focusing on things that are going to save you money on your grocery bill. That's what I'm going to do in this garden because I'm going to get a chance to grow a huge garden. But for now, I'm here in this plot and I want to do what I can to show you what you can do in a small suburban backyard. Um, I also do have a green stock and a small raised bed that I'm going to be working with. Uh, as well as maybe some trellises and I've got the pea trellis there. Um, as well as some backyard chicken stuff. Big thanks to Blue for inviting me into this collab. Can't wait to show you what I've got growing here. Bye bye My name is Martin Ali and I'm from My Family Garden and I'm joining in with Pam's small space garden collab and I'll show you the space that I'm going to be growing in. This is the area that I'm going to be growing in and I'm going to be growing on this concrete area in these containers. So I've got an old bathtub and I've got some uh, vegetable boxes and I've got some wooden troughs made out of recycled materials. So this is the area that I'm going to show you how productive this can be. And I'll show you exactly how much vegetables that I can get out of that small space and you can too. Hi, welcome to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger. I am in North Georgia. And as you can see on our property behind us here, um, we have a lot of mountain sides and then steep drops off drops <laughs> which makes gardening a little challenging for us we do the best we can in the flatter spaces um, but you do I do experience a lot of this in the property so my small garden feature is going to be one that I do every year on my deck just on the edge of my deck I've got a 
pallet container that actually was free. I got it from a local big box store that was throwing it away. Um, I think long floor tiles came in it, but it's free. So I'm going to use it. This is it. I'll back up a little bit. It's about uh, seven foot long and it's about two and a half to three foot tall. I'm going to have to do a lot of work to that soil. I'm going to need to amend it and uh, give it a little love, but I'm going to feature a small garden in that. So stay tuned to see what I come up with. Hi, I'm Saron from So Grow and Cook. My husband Bob and I live on a six acre small holding in West Wales, and we try and live as self-sufficiently as possible. Although I have a large garden, I am very familiar with growing food in small spaces. Prior to living here, I had a tiny garden and used methods like square foot gardening and vertical growing and container growing. So I can share some tips and do some demonstrations to help you succeed in whatever size space you've got. Well, hello everybody and welcome to nice wintry Washington State. I'm Tony from Kettle Kitchen and I've been invited to the small gardening growing collaboration put on by Blue over at Blue Self-Reliance and Steve over at Digwell Greenfingers to participate and show how we grow in small spaces. Sorry, I got dogs outside. Anyways, so I'm going to turn you around show you where my spaces are. So I use four grow boxes. They're about 12 inches high, four by eight. I do three of them for vegetables and one of them, fruits, vegetables, sorry. And one of them I use for flowers, for pollinating and attractants for the buggies I need. So that's what I use. This year, I'm also going to try to do uh, bucket stands up on that wall there, and we'll see how it goes. Can't wait for the collaboration to start. Can't wait to get to meet a lot of people and see a lot of great ideas. So thank you for the invite. I can't wait, and let's go. Let's get started. Hello, I am Mags Warrington, and my channel is called My Garden and the Dinosaurs Who Live There. I make video content about gardening. I grow fruit, vegetables and flowers. I also make videos about my chickens, aka the dinosaurs. Okay. I recently moved to a new house in central Scotland with a garden that is rather unkempt and that's an understatement so really I'm starting again out here from scratch So this is the area I'm going to be focusing on in the collaboration videos It is an area that's 15 feet by 15 feet and at the moment it's completely overgrown it has loads of crocosmia, it has ivy brambles and a host, host of other things that I'm, I'm not even aware of yet <laughs> um, so there's going to be a lot of digging out and setting up of beds and so on the one thing I am going to keep in here is just down here we've got a nice rhubarb plant when I arrived tail end of last year I could see that that was a nice healthy rhubarb so uh, I'm going to keep that going but the rest is going to get dug over and organized to be a hopefully a nice productive growing space for fruit vegetables and flowers so there you have it I'm so excited to be part of this collaboration and I can't wait to share my progress with you in the forthcoming videos throughout this year. Hi, I'm Slava from Kitchen Garden Therapy. On my channel, I share my gardening experience with growing food from seed and practicing permaculture principles. I am an herbalist, love cooking, fermenting and canning what I grow. I live in Chicago Zone 5B, my last frost date is April 22nd and my growing season is 184 days. 
I'm short on space, so I grow a lot of vertically with green stock towers and other methods. I try to utilize every inch of my space, even front porch and walkways. I start my seeds indoors and have all my seedlings ready when growing season begins. Also, I try to extend my growing season with a greenhouse and row covers. I love experimenting with unique varieties of vegetables and flowers. I even grow mushrooms in my garden. Happy to be part of this collaboration. Oh, you right, guys. Steve here. Digwell Greenfingers, or just plain Diggy. Which is a bit ironic, really, because I'm a no-dig gardener, but, you know, you've got to live with it now, haven't you? Um, uh, like I said, no-dig gardener, probably initially brought about through laziness. I didn't fancy digging. So we got the new allotment, I just put loads of cardboard down, covered it with compost, and there we are. And it is generally perennial weed-free, which is uh, very, very good. Okay then, so for the hashtag small gardens 2023, I've got a few ideas. Now I've got a bed up here I could use, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to revamp my veggie pod. It needs a new cover, look. Showing its wear and tear now. It's been on for quite a few years, mine. And revitalise the compost. Compost getting old. Got to get all the old plants out. And I think I got a bit of a uh, vine weevil as well being chopped off so yeah follow me through the journey so have a look in the description below you'll see all the other channels that are taking part and you'll see the playlist and follow along it's going to be fun i reckon guys take care